All right, I'm going to go over an interesting feature that's uh, heavily improved in uh, Meerkat 7.2. If we type in Ruida control, we're done. That's all we needed. Okay, uh, it's already set there, so now I am in Lightburn. I'm controlling my normal uh, M2 Nano K40. Let's go ahead and tell it to home. Move right. Home. Uh, we can turn on continuous jog. So it'll hold on when we press the button. Uh, we can go to our saved positions. So if I have a position at 100-100. Uh, have one at 5555. I can use the uh, move around tool. So this thing will move around on my bed to various locations. Okay, so around here is this piece of paper. Let's go ahead and draw a little circle on it. Okay, and this is assigned to this color. So uh, 45 at a power of 100%. The power of 100% uh, corresponds to uh, 1,000 PPI, which isn't a problem because the knobs set uh, fairly correctly. Uh, if you do the power at like 30 or something, it's going to uh, be at like 30 PPI, which is a sort of weird uh, kind of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start that. Burns a little circle it just drew. Let's uh, select, okay. A little bit sucky at this. Uh, sure. Let's select this circle and let's move this circle just right over here. And let's go ahead and run that again. No real reason. Drawing random circles. They're okay, slightly overlapping. But uh, this is cardboard and I'm running at 35, which is a little bit fast there. But uh, let's do another circle here. Uh, select this one, delete it. Okay. And uh, let's start that up. All right. Didn't burn anything down. Seems reasonable. Okay, let's do text mirror cat in light burn let's go here okay uh, go back here uh, let's go and do the rubber band frame that should go around it All right, that seems perfectly reasonable. Uh, let's set, uh, let's do this at lower power because the burns are a little bit uh, violent. So let's do it at 50% power. Uh, the min power is irrelevant because it doesn't uh, actually use it on this thing. I'm not exactly sure what the Ruida board is uh, supposed to do in this case. I mean, I could maybe adjust the power correctly but uh, that is why I'm also... One of the sub-reasons for making this video is to ask you guys to maybe try this and uh, see what it does wrong. So let's go ahead and start this. Now it should be properly optimized for uh, whatever light burn does to optimize it. I don't love the positioning on that, but... Uh, Meerkat isn't doing any of the work here. It's literally doing nothing. Well, in the background, it's translating the uh, Ruida code that uh, Lightburn is sending and is translating it into uh, LHY micro code. All right.
That was not optimized. Had I done optimize, it probably would have been a lot better. Ah, yeah. I, I'm not an expert in light burn. But, uh, that was heavily unoptimized. Let's go ahead and uh, drag in this. No. Okay. Now, uh, let's go here. Let's do a rubber band frame. Yeah, a little close to the wall. Uh, let's do it again. Does it show up on the camera? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and push it in. Uh, rubber band frame. Yeah, okay, a little in some more. All right, and this is going to do a speed of 100. That's a little slow for me. Let's do uh, 400 maybe. Okay, so uh, since it's running an M2 Nano, uh, actually, uh, actually, no, 100 is actually better. I'll explain why in a second. Let's do 150. Uh, max power 20. Eh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, the max power will actually make it go lighter. It'll basically turn PPI on in addition to uh, running the image as normal. So let's go ahead and hit uh, start. Now, uh, I'm not sure how you do bottom to top, here, but let's go ahead, go. Now, it will uh, send the data. And actually, once it's done sending the data, uh, you can basically close it down because uh, Mirror Cat will run it. You can run the LA, uh, the Ruida control thing on like a little Raspberry Pi Zero so that you can just treat your uh, K40 like it's a Ruida and then use Lightburn with it if that's uh, something you want to do. The raster example is one of the weaker points. I'm not precisely sure how to... Uh, fix the issue that it can't really tell the difference. The M2 Nano specifically has a different way of running the code. So a raster and an M2 Nano can be significantly faster and kind of better, but I'm not actually sure of any uh, highly specific way that this is done in the... Ruida, like it doesn't send me any command that says this is going to be a raster, so I switch over the raster mode. Uh, it just sends a bunch of different little movement things that are both uh, here. In fact, in I'm gonna let this thing finish up and show you what it ends up being. But uh, if you're looking at it, it's tapping the end. You can see it's tapping the uh, the end bits uh, awfully hard, harder than it needs to, and uh, because it's jammed with a bunch of data and hasn't quite printed it out yet, it's going a little bit slower than it should. But uh, this is not a highly useful raster but it does actually uh raster the images as it was sent the data from lightburn the hope is that in uh, future versions it will uh correct this let me go over how you set this up uh, basically i have a device in lightburn that's called uh ruida uh ruida mk for meerkat so we load up devices ruida mk and then we uh, go ahead and edit the settings. It's a Ruida thing. I'm using UDP because that's how it runs. And the UDP is 127.0.0.1, uh, uh, which is localhost. I since I'm running the program on the same uh, on the same computer as I'm running Meerkat, I need to loop it back on itself and it opens up the correct uh, ports for the Ruida device. 
Now, if you were running it on a Raspberry Pi that was located somewhere else, you do not need the GUI at all. You can you can install Meerkat with uh, with pip, and you'll be perfectly fine. And you can launch it without uh, the GUI with a minus Z command, and then just launch it with uh, Ruida control, and you'll be uh, well on your way to running this. Which, if you're not going to raster, is probably fine. Or if you raster in Meerkat, would be probably fine too. I mean, you can do anything you wanted in Meerkat anyway. All right. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like at the very end. Uh, zoom in forward. And that's what it looked like when it finished. Uh, thank you for watching. Quick update. As soon as I uh, turned it off, the recording, it uh, stopped stuttering. That's probably what it was doing. Uh, the image is there, as you can see, but it looks like it's a little bit wonky, like it's losing something at the end, and it's just sort of uh, migrating slightly uh, to that edge. It's not even a hard change, it's just uh, shifted over there. It could actually be the hard rastering. Basically, uh, your machine doesn't really want to raster like this. It wants a sort of slow down acceleration thing. And uh, that's one of the things that's built into the uh, MG Nano, but isn't being invoked because it's just a bunch of move commands and it needs to pre detect that it's a raster and then put it in rastering mode. Okay. Uh, Thanks again for watching.